Okay, regions on the complex plane is the last part of the um, the topic. Um, example, let's have a look at the example, but before we do it, actually, regions, um, it's indicating we're going to have to deal with inequalities and the uh, shading. So example five, sketch the graph of each inequality. So there are lots of examples. And uh, first four, it's just basics, like you're just using argument or modulus. It's not too bad. The last four, we're using both. Okay, so let's have a look at the first one. First one is argument, we're using the argument. So because it's inequalities, we can't just pinpoint just one thing now. It's a group of the, um, the points. Okay, so it's going to, argument is, uh, what is it, the seed, the starting point is 0, 0, and it goes from minus 45 to 60, so it will look like this, okay, and so it's it, it's in, in between, so the area, the shading area is in between, and this one is the same, now both of them is not in, equal to, not equal to, so it's a dotted line, there's only one dotted line there because of this part. Okay, so remember that. That wasn't too bad at all. The third one is, um, yep. Now, when you see modulus, uh, most of the time it's circle, most of the times. Because that will be, um, I can see straight away, that's going to be the circle with the center of two and zero, and radius is one and be half so we're looking at two circles here so that's what it looks like so I replace that into this using the z equals x plus y i okay now with the half radius I did a dotted and the radius one I did a um, straight line the bold one unbroken the D, um, it's a little bit unusual, but it's not too bad. Real part of Z, Z equals what? X plus YI. What's a real X? Imagine part of the X plus YI and Y. So it's actually a straight line. And then X intercept, Y intercept. X intercept is 1, Y intercept is minus 1. And in here, which, which part is shaded? You just have to test the point. I'm just going to test 0. If it's satisfying, it'll be shading this part. If it's not, this part, which I've just done that. Okay, so it wasn't too bad. Now, this is the part we're going to have a little bit of um, challenge. Challenge is a good thing. Yep. So, we got the form of the modulus here, and we've got argument. Okay, so what I've done is I just sketched it separately. Okay, just too easy for us to think about so argument is always a little bit easier well I don't know some people might think modulus is easy the argument is going uh, from 0 to pi over 2 but it's um, they're not included so to be broken line okay and the seed at 0 0 obviously so it's a open circle there because that's a 0 and that's a pi over 2 that's pi you know and so on now here that's the x square plus y square automatically by now you should remember that so that's circle with the center of zero zero and radius three now the circle is a less than three so it's going to be inside circle so less less than radius so inside shading part now you need to imagine you're going to combine this together it'll look like this okay so if you, you couldn't see combining together, you need to close your eyes, perhaps think about it a little bit, and that's what happens. Now, um, that is not included because this part and this part is not included here. So it's open circle there and there, okay? And that's included because that's included there. Okay, next one. All right. Again, I'm going to set the graph separately for modulus part and the arguments part. So that's, I can see it's a circle, 
with a center two zero and a radius one and that's a seed starting point is zero zero so if I sketch that it will look like this yeah now again the whole thing circle is less than one less than the uh, radius so it's going to be shaded inside circle and that's um, zero is not included so I put the dotted line there and it goes up to pi over three that's what I've got and this format is in between obviously so in, in between we shade it now let's have a look if you can see that if you combine this together you can pause this uh, video and think about it and then you know go back and check so that's what it looked like because on the bottom here it's not included so it's open circle there okay and this part is not included isn't it because it's only this part so it's not too bad so the next one okay so again this is a circle this time the center is zero and one because it's what imaginary and radius is one and seed starts at zero zero now remember five pi over six is second quadrant okay because it's 150 I mean it's, a, it's more than half so that's why it's second quadrant and that's first quadrant so I separate it now be careful on this one this time what is it the circle is bigger than radius so that all the shaded part will be outside of circle okay and so this one is second quad, um, second uh, quadrant and it's not equal to so it's a broken line and that's equal to so it's a straight into that and obviously the little part is pi over six and they combine together hmm interesting so it'll look like this hopefully you can see um, the combined graphs together it'll look like this okay the last one okay so again it's not too bad it's a circle um, two circles isn't it because we've got two radius there red line and then that's the uh, arguments there and it's seed at zero zero and I sketch this separately it'll look like this okay so remember it's not equal to okay and the half radius half is equal to the radius three is not so it's a broken line and it's in between shaded so if I combine this together here we go it'll look like this you can just sketch it together and then see which part that part and this obviously this is the part because it's a limited section there so it's this okay hopefully you'll understand it just take your time do it one at a time and then combine together until you get really uh, familiar with uh, don't rush just do it separately and then combine together and when you sketch it use a pencil or put all the necessary information and a sketch uh, graph big enough i think in hsc it's like half or one third of the page